Now, like many dogs, Rolo here has an issue when it comes to impulse control around guests and new people coming into the home. Not anything aggressive or negative like that, he just gets a little bit too excited. So what we're going to do is what I like to call go wild and breathe. Now this particular exercise is going to be great, not just for guests, but anywhere. We want to practice this in as many different locations as possible because what it really does is build that impulse control within the dog in those most exciting situations. Now what Go Wild and Freeze is, is I myself am going to get into a super aroused state. I'm going to start dancing around, I'm going to start jumping up and down. I'm going to get super excited in order to get him excited. Now once that happens, then I'm going to immediately ask him to sit down. Now I warn you, this is going to be really, really silly for you watching me and you can only imagine when you're home and you're trying this and someone walks through the door. It's going to look really, really silly, but it's going to help tremendously with your dog's ability to have an off switch to get excited and turn that off. Alright, so let's give that a shot really quick. And I'm going to walk you through the process, so stay tuned till the end because you're going to see how much he can build this in a short amount of time. I know! He's the good Yes! I know! Yes! He's the good boy! I know! I know! I... Sit! Now at this point, I'm actually going to ask him to sit there for an extended period. Only because I want to show him that the ultimate goal is to turn it off, turn that excitement off. So I'm letting him nibble on it, I'm not quite giving it to him yet. There you go. Perfect. And let's try that again. Now, if you'll notice, one of the things that I'm doing is after I get excited, I'm immediately stopping and I'm telling him off. That off cue is not 100% necessary for the situation because we are trying to teach him to regulate his own excitement, but I do like to have a cue so that when he is in that excited mind frame, I have something verbally that I can say that indicates it's time to turn it off. It's so exciting, I know. It's so exciting. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Off. So you can see that one of the keys here is that I'm doing it at various lengths. In the beginning, I only did it for a couple of seconds. I did it enough to get his excitement level up and then I turned it off immediately. As we went forward and as we continue to go forward, we'll do it for longer periods of time where I'm, I'm dancing and I'm exuberant for X amount of time and then I ask him to sit. But I'm going to ask him to sit for X amount of time as well. So I'm varying how long I'm asking for certain behaviors so that he just recognizes that it goes from excitement to off. Excitement to off. Now that time, he got excited, I told him off, he didn't quite sit down, but he did stop. He put all four on the floor, he put his focus on me, and he stopped jumping around. That's what I wanted. So, in this case, I, I accepted it. I gave him that reward, just because we're just starting out. So the act of turning off that excitement, and then the act of going into a sit, that's a little bit challenging for some dogs, and I do ultimately want him to go into a sit, but like I said, right now, I'm concerned about the mindset. So if he can manage that, fantastic, we can build the sit as we go along.
So you see how valuable this can be in getting him to build that off switch. And you can see that his level of focus on me is increasing as we go forward. So let's try and make this a little bit more challenging. Let's open the door, add some more distractions. Of course, anytime that you do something like this with the door open, you want to have them on a leash so that we can avoid any sort of incident. And now we're starting to see that the excitement itself is not as important to him. What's important is the game that we're playing, which is, again, go wild and then freeze. So over time, what we're going to see is that new people come in, he gets excited, and he sees that excitement as, a, as an ability, as an opportunity to calm down and get some good stuff. Again, we're also using that off command so that when he does ex get excited, we have a verbal cue that can trigger this same exact reaction. 